Hey guys, I'm going with a different camera angle on this one. So let me know what you think about it. I'm trying to do camera angles so that you can see what I'm doing. Um, I don't have any overhead, um, anything set up to hang right over me. But I also don't really want myself in the video, so I'm trying to get angles where you guys can see the art and not me. So I'm here again with another dirty flip and drag. I'm kind of on a roll with using black. Um, I've done two videos with black and they both paintings turned out really well so I'm pretty excited about it because it's a color that I don't use that often because I don't want it to take over the painting. So I'm going to use orange, magenta, and this blue is a combination of about five different colors. Um, and there's two metallic colors in there, so it's got a little bit of a sheen. So I'm going to remove these. And those were all mixed with water and Floetrol. And then I've got my Dutch Boy. And I always start, this is a new cup and it's a weird size. I don't think I like it. It's tall and narrow. but. Spray that with WD-40 silicone. I kind of like this angle because everything's in front of me. I'm not tilting to the side, but I'll have to see if I still like it when I watch it. Um, and I'm going to pour a little bit of paint, white paint in here just so it's easier. So I don't end up dumping the whole thing in there. And I'm going to start with the blue. And I'm not sure how much paint I'm going to add to this, but I would say the other day I did a 16 by 20 and I maybe used two ounces of paint in my flip cup. So those of you that are trying this that are not getting the results that you desire, it might be because you have too much paint in the flip cup. Because you don't need a lot to get the effect. A little white in there. And also today in my dirty cup I am putting white in it. A little bit more silicone. I usually don't add any white. So that's new. So much new stuff. It's just overwhelming. Can you handle it? Okay, and then, so I think I'm done with those colors, and let me open, I've got a little bit of gray. Tell me, these little two ounce cups are fantastic, and they're so cheap. You get like 50 of them for, I think, $3 maybe. They're perfect. And I reuse, in, and I'll reuse them for the same colors, or even just similar colors. I figure mix and match my colors. So there we go. Let's see. Let me see how many ounces. These cups are nine ounces. So half would be, well, they're tapered, but so four and a half. So yeah, I'd say less than two ounces right here. I want a little bit more. No, no, yeah, a little bit more blue. And remember, the paint you put on the bottom is going to be what's going to be last to pour out. And I taped up the back. This is a 12 by 24 canvas. Ooh, it looks so pretty in there. So I'm going to pour my white around. I'm almost out of white paint, which is just a scary thought. Yeah, put that 
from here. And I'm going to use popsicle stick. Sometimes I use my fingers. This will work. Ah, oh, well, or you end up using your fingers anyways because the popsicle stick falls in. So what I'm doing is just spreading it out. So that way, when I do my pour, the white's not too thick and I don't have to worry. Oh, I just got, there's some paint right there. Oh, whoops. I guess we're starting now. I'm gonna poke a hole. Wasn't really prepared for that. Oh, these are a lot firmer cups. Not as easy to poke a hole. So you can already see cells popping up, crazy cells. Lots and lots of cells. Probably gonna have to add more white there. So I am just going to, I've turned my, my flip and drags to more of a um, flip and skim. I'm not digging in as much anymore. And I am yielding much better results, better cells. Um, so I just, I'm just kind of letting the cup glide along the top. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's almost like I'm dragging it. Well, flip and drag, but not, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. It looks like a snake. I put an awful lot of silicone in there, which is why I'm getting these, which always remind me of earthworms, which is kind of nauseating, but um, they look cool nonetheless. So, so far I don't like this. Um, we'll see what happens when I start to tilt. I think I got too busy in the middle, but I'm tilting this one pretty, um, pretty hard. So this is cool down here. And this just looks like intestines. It reminds me of the inside of a body. Which, you know, isn't that always a great look for a painting? I'm going to keep tilting down this way. Because as I said, I love what's going on here. And not so much on the side that I am at. So I'm just going to pull out the rest of it. So I want to get it to all the sides though. So I'm tilting it to the left and then back again. And then some of it stays, which is what I want. And I may tilt it all the way past this. I haven't quite decided. Oh, and I realized I was losing my favorite part up there, so. I sometimes forget to keep an eye on the whole thing when I'm concentrating on one part. I tend to lose sight of the whole thing. I guess that's kind of an analogy for life. You gotta got to pay attention to the whole picture, don't you? Let's see, getting that blue. This is, ooh, this is, this is something. I'm not, I don't know. I don't not like it. 
but I don't really know what to think. Let's turn it. Let's see if I can have another view of it, what I think. Mm. Trying to decide what about this part. Let's see if I can Let's see what happens. Just softening it up a little. Which in turn doing that also makes more cells. And the cells keep forming as I'm sitting here watching it. I like that. I mean it's you can kind of tell the paint what to do. I'm going to tilt back down. I like this grayish color that's formed up here. I really want that blue, dark blue part at the bottom to go bye bye. But I want this to. That part's not wanting to move, so I'm just going to. I call it loosen, loosen it up a little so that it flows easier. It's getting real busy down there, but I, I like it. Tilt harder to really make that blue. Want that whole side kind of gone. So I'm going to tilt that. It's almost off. Almost, almost, almost. There we go. Oops, I don't want that. And now back this way. And you can see that part that I did my fingers, how it's, there's some neat little tiny cells within that. So, so I'm not really sure how I feel about this. I'm going to turn it around again. Oh, there's a whole missing portion there. Turn it around again. See what I think on this side. I'm really quite undecided. I love the wispiness of it. know how I love these things. Covering up those these dots right here. I don't want specks of paint. Or that one. Or that one. Mm -hmm. Let me do, Let's broaden this one out a little. And then, some, this is, it isn't even coated. I think I missed a whole section. There we go. Let me do some more in this corner. I like it. I think I think I'm done. My air conditioning kicks in.
calling it. Oh my gosh. There we go. I have so much paint on here. really bringing out the cells in this. Alright. Oh, I was sitting on my ankle. I fell asleep. I'm just going to check this side. Make sure that we've got paint. And I do. And now I'm going to focus you in around to you. Cut. Whoops. So, if you're hearing that's, I've got all this plastic protecting stuff. See how close I can go. So there's that 12 by 14 canvas or yeah that's it so <laughs> all right well thank you so much for watching have a great day